Welcome back to Med School Radio. This is Simon here in McAllen, Texas. And today we're going to be looking at Zanke. And if you don't know what Zanke is, Zanke is part of Anki. It's really a great high yield resource for studying for the USMLE. And if you haven't already seen my website, please go there at medscoreradio.com. I'm building that now. Also, we're on Facebook and on Instagram. So anyway, let's get right to it. Looking at Sankey, I'm just scrolling through. I've already done my Sankey for today, but I've set the counter to 10. So let's try and look at 10 cards. I'm gonna look at Pathoma red blood cells. Let's do a few cards. Okay. In the relatively cold temperature of the extremities, IgM antibodies may bind red blood cells and fix what? Complement. Remember that extreme activation of complement can lead to intravascular hemolysis. Next one. Diagnosis of beta thalassemia minor is confirmed by an isolated increase in what? On electrophoresis. An increase, an isolated increase in hemoglobin A2. Remember that normal is 2.5% and may also have slightly elevated hemoglobin F and slightly decreased hemoglobin A. Vitamin B12 deficiency is characterized by blank serum homocysteine, increased serum homocysteine. Remember that this increases the risk for thrombosis, vitamin B12 deficiency. The diagnosis of beta thalassemia minor is confirmed by an isolated increase in hemoglobin A2 blank on electrophoresis. They are looking for percentage here and it is greater than 3.5%. I'm going to say it again. Normal is 2.5% and may also have slightly elevated hemoglobin F and slightly decreased hemoglobin A. This is beta thalassemia minor. Okay, let's go to the next one. In the relatively cold temperature of the extremities, IgM antibodies may bind red blood cells and fix what? We've just done this. Do you remember what it was? Complement. Remember again, extreme activation of complement can lead to intravascular hemolysis. And remember that vitamin B deficiency is characterized by increased serum homocysteine. Okay, you can see we're going through these. So that was the deck um, completed. Uh, Let me go back and do another one. Looking at the decks now, let's look at uh, hmm, ophthalmology. Okay, blank pupil is unilaterally dilated pupil that reacts sluggishly to light, but better to accommodation. This is an ADI, A-D-I-E pupil. Regeneration of 11 cis retinol from all trans retinol requires what vitamin? It is vitamin A. Remember that deficiency of vitamin A causes night blindness. Okay, let's look down at uh, another one. How about respiratory pathology? Let's do 10 cards there. Okay, small cell carcinoma, also called oat cell carcinoma, is commonly associated with amplification of the blank oncogene, MYC oncogene. Severe unrelenting asthma attacks can result in blank and death in status asthmaticus and death. 
I'll say it again, severe unrelenting asthma attacks can result in status asthmaticus and death. Next, consolidation, lobar pneumonia, pulmonary edema, presents with what type of frematis? Increased frematis. Biopsy of tuberculosis reveals blank granulomas. Caseating granulomas for tuberculosis. Most pulmonary emboli arise via a thromboembolus from the proximal blank of the lower extremity. Deep veins of the lower extremity. Remember that usually involving the femoral, iliac, and popliteal veins. These are pulmonary emboli. Remember that come the thromboembolus is coming from the proximal deep veins of the lower extremities. Silicosis may present with blank calcification of the hilar lymph nodes, eggshell calcification of the hilar lymph nodes. Blank is fibrosis of the lung, interstitium with an unknown cause. This is idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis. Remember that secondary causes interstitial fibrosis such as drugs, for example, bleomycin and amiodarone and radiation therapy must be excluded. Most pulmonary emboli arise via a thromboembolus from the proximal deep veins of the lower extremity. We just said that. Okay, you just saw this again. Silicosis may present with eggshell calcification of the blank lymph nodes, the hilar lymph nodes. Okay, let's talk again about small cell carcinoma, oat cell carcinoma. It's commonly associated with amplification of what oncogene, the NYC oncogene. And biopsy of tuberculosis reveals what type of granulomas? Caseating granulomas. Okay, severe asthma attacks can result in status asthmaticus and death. So I'm just going through these. It's a good way to review by just doing 10 and then to 10 and then 10. Keep going through them. It's really great. And if you read them out loud, they can be much more memorable. And the next day, you just go through your whole Anki or Zanki pack. And I've got so many that I go through each day. Um, but I'm really finding it easy to memorize using this uh, Anki app. So please give this a go. Thanks for tuning in to Med School Radio. Thank you.